What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the uh, lack of factions in Battlefield 2042. Now, of course, what I'm meaning by this is both sides, no matter if you're a sniper, medic, support, uh, engineer, all of the character models look the same. And a lot of people don't like this because it's hard to distinguish who's who. Now, of course, every other Battlefield game before has had factions. This was actually an issue if you played the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. A lot of people did not like that there was no factions in Call of Duty Vanguard either. So whichever side you're on, you're facing players that look just like the character models that you're running around with. Now, of course, in the Battlefield 2042 beta, there is a bug that is not allowing you to see the player's name or dot over their head if they're one of your teammates, which does make it a little bit difficult. I've had several players shoot at me. I've unloaded clips in some people's backs before when they would spawn up close to me because their dot or name would not show up. Uh, that is a bug that DICE has, ha that has been fixed uh, for the final version of the game or for the you know release version of the game. Now, of course, what we're playing beta-wise is about three months old, so a lot of the stuff, a lot of the issues have been fixed already, DICE has stated. But I think the lack of factions is going to be an issue. Now, I know a lot of players are going to say they're going to have skins and things, and I think that's what a lot of companies are doing nowadays. There's no really need to make factions if you're going to have a battle pass with all these different skins for each individual character. But in my opinion, you're going to have to have a lot of skins for each individual character because if the Battle Pass comes out for Battlefield 2042, for example, and it has, you know, like a skin or two for each character in game, you're still going to have this issue for the first several months until there's been multiple Battle Passes out with multiple skins for every character in it because most players are still going to be looking, you know, pretty much the same character model wise because everyone's going to be using those new skins. So, for example, if there's only one engineer skin, one medic skin, one support, one sniper skin for, you know, uh, the first battle pass, everyone's going to be using those. So everyone's going to look the same yet again. I'm not quite sure why they decided uh, to not go with factions. Uh, like I said, this was an issue in Call of Duty Vanguard as well in the beta. The only thing I can think of, like I said, is because they're going to use the, you know, battle pass system as a way to add skins in the game. I'm sure they're going to sell skins in the store that you can buy for real money. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of, I'm just not a big fan of the option of not having factions available where you actually can tell what side you're on. Because unless there's going to be something different within the you know final version of the game that we have right now, and I'm not assuming there's going to be because this has been a big topic on the Reddit forums for Battlefield and a lot of other you know, just gaming websites in general, people have been discussing this. I don't see there being a fix for this, you know, when the game is released. I think this is how DICE and EA intended it to be. And like I said, it's just a bit confusing because it's kind of strange to see the exact same engineer model uh, or the exact same sniper or medic or support character with the exact same, you know, camo on, you know, hats, all that kind of stuff running around on both sides. It's just kind of not really lazy to me uh, when they made the game, but almost kind of lazy at the same time. And like I said, I do understand there will be skins and things we can, you know, buy in the future. And a lot of people will buy, you know, skins with real money. There'll be a lot of skins we can get, hopefully within the battle pass system. I'm hoping that's going to be a lot of the battle pass system, gun camos and skins. Uh, EA and DICE have talked about it a little bit. That the, you know, battle pass system is not going to be things that are going to improve your gameplay. It's going to be cosmetic kind of items. Of course, we'll have to wait and see exactly how that works out in the end. But if it's just going to be gun skins and, you know, character models and character camos and, you know, different things you can do uh, for your characters, even if they just do individual pieces like, you know, you know, vests or, you know, your like flak vest or, you know, your hats or, you know, just different styles of camo that you can you can wear. If there's a lot of those options, it may not be that big of a deal once the game is released. But as of right now, in my opinion, having no factions within the beta has been kind of a pain for a lot of people visually. Just because, like I said, everyone looks the exact same. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Would you like to see, are you are you kind of disappointed that we didn't have, uh, you know, factions within the beta? Are not going to have factions in the game in general, considering every other Battlefield game ever has had that? Uh, are you happy just to be able to have different skins available through a battle pass? Or are, you, are you fine with that style system? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.